Hello, hello. It's another week and I've got another PDH deck tech. This week we're looking at the Boros Guild and our commander is Lorehold Apprentice. Lorehold Apprentice is a 2-2 human cleric for a red and a white that has Magecraft, so whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, until end of turn, spirit creatures you control gain, tap, this creature deals one damage to each opponent. This commander puts us in spirit tribal, which is unusual for Boros, but it also cares about instants and sorceries. And as I read this ability, it started to seem very familiar, and suddenly I was reminded of the Kamigawa block, the old one. And then I realized it was a perfect place to play cards that care about spirits and arcane spells, such as Kami of Fire's Roar. So, what are our goals for this deck? We're going to build an army of spirit creatures and use our spells to activate them and burn out all of our opponents. Now, our spirits are going to be the backbone of our deck, and we're going to need a lot of them. We've got plenty of generically good ones, such as Guardian of the Guild Pact, which has protection from monocolored and will be very tricky to deal with. But we also have Kami of Ancient Law, Kami of False Hope, and Keening Apparition. These creatures serve dual purpose. They can act as instant speed removal or fogs, but until we need them, they can just sit on the battlefield. There, they'll act as deterrence and bodies we can tap and burn with. We're going to take advantage of our spirit tribal with Crown of Awe and Crown of Fury. These will each boost a single spirit, but they can be sacrificed to give our whole team protection from black and from red, or first strike. And we can also bring spirits back from the grave using the old soul shift ability, such as on 100 Talon Kami, making sure that we keep our board full. And as a matter of fact, we can use token creatures to burn with, so long as they're spirits. So we've got Vessel of Ephemera to give us extra bodies, and a special inclusion with Spiritual Visit, which can give us a spirit token with every single arcane spell we cast, just by spending an extra white mana. And we have plenty of arcane spells. Tarashi's Grasp will act as basic removal, while Desperate Ritual will be able to give us an extra red mana every time we cast or splice it. Path of Anger's Flame will pump our entire board by plus 2 plus 0, and Blessed Breath will give any of our creatures protection from the color of our choice. All of these will build to a late game blowout using Ire of Kaminari, an instant arcane for 3 in a red that has it deals damage to target creature or player equal to the number of arcane cards in our graveyard. And all of these cards will support Blade Main and Wax Main Baku, loading them up with key counters that we can cash in for either a massive pump or tapping out a large number of creatures. And then there's one of our strongest synergy pieces, Soul of Magma, which will ping a creature with nearly every spell we cast, perfect for taking out our opponent's technical creatures or their small tokens. And we're going to trigger these over and over again using Glitterfang, a spirit that bounces itself back to hand at end of turn. Now with all of this going on, how are we going to win? We're going to be capitalizing on our commander's ability. Specifically, note the fact that it causes our creatures to burn each opponent. That's very powerful, and we're going to take advantage of that with lifelink cards, such as Kindly Ancestor and Hopeful Apparition. In a multiplayer game, this is going to give us 2 or 3 life per spirit that we tap. However, this is also going to attract a lot of hate, especially since we can't narrow the blast radius. There's just no way to use this effect politically. So we need to put a lot of effort into protecting ourselves. Several of our instants are going to be dedicated to preventing combat damage, such as Holy Day, an instant for one white that prevents all combat damage, Curtain of Light, an instant for one in a white that blocks target creature and also draws us a card, and Boros Fury Shield, an instant for two in a white that prevents all combat damage that would be dealt by target attacking or blocking creature. But if we also spend a red mana, then the spell will also deal damage to that creature's controller equal to that creature's power. Our strategy will be to keep our creatures up as blockers at the end of our turns, then once our opponents swing at us, all we have to do is fog the combat and then tap our creatures in response to burn everything down. We can also do this multiple times with untap effects, such as War Flare and Call to Glory. These will allow us to surprise an opponent who thought we were wide open, assign blockers, and then burning every opponent again. And finally, we can do some very powerful things with Wildfire Elemental, one of the few non-spirits in our deck. 
If we activate our commander before the combat step, then each spirit we tap will trigger Wildfire Elemental three times. That will pump all of our creatures by plus one plus zero for each trigger, and it will be very easy to make our whole board swing for lethal with just a little setup. And that is my Lorehold Apprentice deck. It can be very effective as a Turbo Fog slash Group Burn deck. Just be careful, you need to have enough creatures on board to close the game quickly. I would not bring out the commander until I have about four or more spirits on deck, but once that's happened, let the sparks fly. This deck is going to cost us about $18 or $19, the deck list is in the description. Please like and subscribe and come back next week when we get extra deadly with the Dimir Guild. Mm -hmm.